One and only Despotic. I'm bringing you bitches another gameplay commentary. This is Rush Defense. And I have a question. I think the question is somewhat difficult. Or maybe it might be very easy. Uh, as you can see, these guys jumped on us. They grabbed the first base. And, you know, this kind of leads into my, my question. Now, of course, this question is dependent on, you know, many variables. Uh, it could depend on the map. It depends on the you know the caliber of, of players. It depends you know all those you know variables. If you take those things into account, is it, I think it's a, a difficult question. But now, if you were to just you know it's a it's a uh, you know a fairly even map. You know the players are you know of equal skill level, and you know one squad is defending one squad is attacking now my question is which you know which is which is more difficult is it when someone is defending of course with all those things I mentioned you know on, on equal terms now this is you know that you, you know you should think of this as, as, it, as it being in a, in a vacuum of course there these things can't happen all the time only once in a while you run into you know teams that are evenly matched you know, usually when you run into a, a, a good squad, they just stomp on other squads. But with all things being equal, uh, which one is more difficult? Is it you know, if you're defending on rush or if you're attacking on rush? Now, I know, I know for a fact, you know, I've been playing Battlefield a, a lot recently. I know for a fact uh, if you know, they push you to your last base, it's very difficult for them to, um, to really... It's more difficult for them to destroy those those two MCOM stations because you have tanks. Uh, it's usually the last base is usually very for, uh, heavily fortified. All of these things, but then on on rush, if if you're attacking uh, in the beginning, you get vehicles and such. So I, I'm just curious, what do you guys think? Do you uh, do you think it's more difficult uh, attacking or is it more uh, difficult defending? I personally think, to me, I honestly like attacking more. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just like attacking more. It just seems more. It seems more uh, enjoyable, right? I, I just like the fact that okay, you know, we just jumped in these dudes and and like these guys jumped in us from 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 Jump Street, man. We were like, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> and my the the guy that. Uh, you know, that's on my team. I basically, you know, I left his squad because it's just, you know, him and myself, and he wasn't really doing anything, and I need, he wasn't offering me a, def a decent, you know, spawn situ uh, situation. So I was like, you know, something I got to go, dude. So I left the squad, and, and I, you know, um, I joined these guys. And then I just started, you know when you know if you have a four man squad even if they're these guys are random so i've been, I, i've never played with them whatsoever yeah and if this commentary sounds a bit monotone it's early in the morning i just i just decided to put up a commentary but this has always been a, a question in my mind i know some people will say you know it also depends on the map because i know when you're playing rush uh uh in vietnam there's this one map, man. Uh, it's the one map with the fucking um, the rice, the rice fields. If you're if you're if you're attacking, they start you downhill and you have to move up that fucking hill. And and if the team is just mediocre, if the team is like like not even that good, I mean it's a hell of a lot just to get out of that. I know if you're attacking on, on that map. It is like hell waiting to just fucking spawn in your ass. So I know that for a fact. So that's, I'm not mentioning that map, which is fucking uneven. Right? It, it's heavily favoring, it's in favor of the team that's defending. You know, well, at least that first base where it's like, like what the fuck? What's going on, man? I mean, is this, is this, is this fair? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, shit. But, uh, but then, let, you know, so let's talk about maps that are, I really don't know the, the, the map's names, but uh, let's just talk about a map that's, you know, decent size, 
um, uh, you know, decent terrain, and it offers like a decent amount of, you know, benefits to to, to both uh, sides. Those sides that are defending, and those sides are attacking. Uh, what do you guys think? I personally, I think it's easier to defend. That's what I think. I think it's a lot easier to defend because. You know, you, you might run into players, and now I'm I'm getting outside uh, uh, the vacuum, right? I'm getting into like reality, like real, you know, in game kind of playing. You know, if you're defending and you have a lot of snipers, uh, or just people who just want to camp around, and that's usually people's play style anyway when they're playing Battlefield, for the most part, then I think that's in your favor. But if you have those guys when you're rushing, I mean, you're 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 in for it, you know. You're 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 in for a lot of fucking dying. So I think it's a lot easier to defend, just depending on the play style. Now, if you have uh, rushers, just all balls to the wall, and they're like, you know, some fuck this, we're gonna get to that MCOM station regardless of what goes on. Then I think that's uh, like like you'll see me. I'm really angry at this point. Because I, I, you know, I just accumulate like four or five deaths. And I'm like, I'm just thinking like, what the fuck is going on here? But anyway, yeah, I, I, have a, I have another video coming up where, you know, I have a pretty decent team and we're rushing, man. And, and we're attacking. And these guys are just fucking, you know, they're killing us. They stopped us. And I'm like, oh, God damn, son. You know, we tried everything. Like, we pushed them back to, I think, the second to last base, right? And I'm trying to be a spawn point, no matter what. And my team, we were, we were doing, you know, they were doing decently. But I could tell they were, they were decent players, but they weren't, like, you know, I guess above decent. <laughs> uh, so, and, and so I guess I make this part one of, like, which is more difficult, attack. Or, or rush but I think attacking is a lot more difficult because and it's a lot more fun because you got to deal with all the shit unless you start with a you know when, when you're attacking you get tanks and shit like I really think I think it's a cheese I think it's a cheese for like maybe the first base if you just bombard the first base with with tanks and shit I think it's a cheese now if it's the last base you have to get a tank up there. You have to get some kind of vehicle up there because, you know, those those guys, oh, this is going to be pretty cool. I get into this thing. This is the first time I've ever used this. Cause I, 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 don't, <clears throat> I don't like to use vehicles on, uh, on, 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 I just don't like to use vehicles in any kind of video games. I, I always thought it was like a cheese. Even when I, got, I played World of War, um, you know, I was like, this is kind of a cheese, <laughs> but uh, uh, on on rush, if you're defending and you have, and if you're attacking and it's the last base, look at this double kill right here. These guys didn't even see what was happening. And if you're if you're attacking, you it's strategically in your best interest to get a tank up there, or else you know you'll have a lot of issues because these guys are just waiting to pound on you. Because in the last base, they you know they get vehicles and such. Unless your team sucks and then they steal your, your your tank, and then they have a tank to defend, and then you don't really get to uh, to to the last base because they stop you. I don't know. I think this is a double kill. I don't I don't know what happened, but I think it's a double kill. So yeah, I I keep stressing this point, but I'm I'm just curious. I think it's attacking. I think it's very difficult to attack, and you know. And then you have to deal with different play styles. And for the most part, those play styles are very passive. You know, they're not, they're not aggressive. You know, if you're passive-aggressive, that's, that's, that's in your best interest. Because you have some strategy and then you're also, like, you know, ready, willing, and able to, you know, get flags. Like, right here, I didn't know I was going to get that kill. Like, yeah, vehicle, this, this thing is bad. I, I, it's the, what is it, a VA, VAT or VAG? I don't know what it is. But I've been killed with it a few times. Here, here goes another double kill. I don't know what's up with these guys. He tries to road kill me and doesn't know there's some sandbags there. He's a smart guy, isn't he? <laughs> I find that some Battlefield players, 
And I've been seeing a lot of new guys, like, you know, level sevens. And then you can tell, like, they really want to play it. So they went and bought that, the downloaded content. So you'll see, like, their gold. Um, you see their gold for my, well, uh, Spaz 12. Not Spaz 12, but the submachine gun. What the hell is it called? I, I, I forget. The ump. The UMP 45. So yeah, you know, and, and you'll see them doing shit that's just not, that doesn't work out. <laughs> They'll be like, anyway, I'm not even going to mention it because it's it's just, I would literally stop and start laughing. I would literally stop and start laughing because these, these dudes do shit that, you know, you'll see guys shooting at, shooting at, you know, helicopters and shit. And then they would just let the UAV go because they think, oh, it's just a UAV. They, they don't understand the fucking UAV is devastating. That shit kills me so many times because I'm thinking, oh, where the fuck am I getting shot from? Because no one spotted the UAV, right? If you ever see, I know I'm going off on a tangent, but if you ever see a UAV, shoot the shit down or spot it so I can see it and I could hopefully kill it, uh, destroy it. Because UAVs are just a pain and they kill you. And I, I honestly don't like that shit. But yeah, uh, do answer the questions do answer this question. Put it in the, in the comments below, and you know, give me more of a, a of a a very you know uh, uh, detailed response. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think it's a detailed. I think it's a, a question that just isn't. It's not as simple as yes, and it's not as simple as no. Right? It's yes because and no because. Okay. Anyway, this is the one and only to spot it. I brought you bitches. Thanks for the quick game. You know. You know, we, I was defending, and we stopped them. Uh, the score is decent, so. Anyway, it's the one and only Despotic. Deuces, bitches.